It's like this little floating tiki head that like comes when you die or whatever. There, there used to be this app on for iPhone a long time ago. It was called Pocket Pygmies or something like that. Mm-hmm. And they would go ooga booga on the little characters. Damn. You know me when I'm like seducing a girl, I'm like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is this the beginning of the podcast? Yeah, we guys. started already? <laughs> yeah. We're just talking about iPhone apps. And- <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dog? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like uh, sometimes. All right, talk about like, this Tinder story. Bill's like, I'm- most dudes are afraid to <laughs> yeah. moan in their girl's ear. I'll yeah. be in my girl's ear like, ooga booga, bitch. <laughs> so, sometimes I like bark. I'm like, <laughs> hey, Bill, Bill a dog. I mean, before he Bill started recording, he was just saying he bit some girl they call the other me, day. They call me Big Dog Bill. Hell so yeah. tell me about this time you bit a girl. I didn't. I don't think girls asked for it. Girls honestly <laughs> asked for it. No, girls choking, <laughs> slapping, scratching, okay. knifing. <laughs> All these things I've been asked for multiple times. No one's asked also, you to He them. picks up girls at mental asylum. <laughs> yeah, the no condoms. That's another thing. I've never had a girl that I've had sex with not ask me to not use a condom. Fuck. That's a word. Not ask me. <laughs> to not use a condom? To not use it. Yeah. So you girls work on always so ask. So she doesn't ask you to not use it. All girls I've had sex with, two Almost three. Uh, I'll count. Almost. <laughs> Look, all both of them? <laughs> all both of them didn't want me to use a condom they didn't want you to use yeah. they specifically asked you not to yeah <laughs> they specifically asked you not to or you're like i mean they didn't say i had to they said i said hey i'm gonna grab a condom they're like no like that okay. crazy they want some of those bill babies <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> some of those good looking interracial hell mixed yeah. gifts hell yeah Bro, tell me about this Tinder girl though so i, I, I did joke. this thing so this girl like i didn't realize until just like 10 minutes ago but i she follows me on Instagram and I match with her. Mm-hmm. Um, she she has this thing where it's like she, she has a picture of like American Psycho talking about how she hates him. Mm-hmm. But she bought a shirt and she's like, oh, yeah, I love American Psycho. So um, yeah, so just read it. <laughs> just read it. I think it's a good <laughs> bit. I think it's a good bit. I'm going to read it in my head and then you can read it in your head. No, let the it's, audience. it's a podcast. <laughs> read it out we'll now. let the audience just guess at what yeah, it we is. Get, we could popcorn read it for real. So, I, I miss popcorn reading. He started the conversation <laughs> have, have you guys with, seen American Psycho? Yeah. Okay. I honestly haven't. I know about have it. Have you seen that too, the hit, too Hip to Be Square? It's Hip to Be Square clip. What was that? So uh, of him murdering Paul Allen. Is that the one where he's like got like the a clear raincoat on? Yeah, and yeah, I've seen that clip. So yeah, reading. Okay, so Bill started off the conversation pretty strong. Do you like American Psycho? <laughs> <laughs> because she's got this American Psycho. I don't know if you could see it from all the way over there, but oh, she's got an American Psycho T-shirt on. So that's a good one to start with. And she said, "Hell's yeah, hell's with a Z." <laughs> So you know she's a fun time. Fuck yeah, she is. <laughs> she, she's she's a good time. She knows how to have time. And Litty. then Bill came back with a book. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, when it originally came out, it was polarizing to audiences and critics alike. But when the DVD released, it found a second life and really came into its own. Commercially and artistically, it feel like he just copied and pasted off of Wikipedia. <laughs> Dog, yeah. He definitely copied and pasted off of Wikipedia. No, it was not. I wrote anyway, like half of it. But when the DVD released, it found a second life and really came into its own, commercially and artistically. The whole movie is a grim examination of male vanity that really makes it a big genre thrill. It justifies this by placing you inside the head of the... Duplicitous. Duplicitous, thank you. Lead character with the unique charisma (laughs) and dynamite acting by Christian Bale. In 2005, Lionsgate released an uncut version. I think it's an undisputed masterpiece. A movie so entertaining, people don't think about the message, but they should. Because it's not just a great character study and thriller, but also a sardonic metaphor for 1980s yuppie culture, greed, and materialism. Hey, Emma. I was, <laughs> I, this is all part of one message. Hey, Emma. I was thinking of getting a reservation someplace nice, maybe Westport Cafe, to which she left him on deliver, <laughs> which was smart by her because she looked at that and thought, okay, he's the real American psycho. Oh, to get a crackhead, bro. I'll what the pass. fuck? <laughs> I thought it was, a, I was, a, it was worth it for the bit. It was like, I set her up. I did it. I did it. It was good. She wasn't worth it anyway. 
I don't know. She looked pretty cute. Don't get mad at her, bro. Don't make it her fault. Like you're right. That was real ridiculous. She doesn't get my my sense of humor, anyway. It wouldn't have lasted. Yeah, it, she wasn't good enough. It's her fault. She doesn't think I'm funny. She, she probably can't read. That's probably what it is. I kind of have like, you know, normal comedians are like this. I'm like this. Shut <laughs> your dumb ass up. I'm another level. People, you know, Dane O'Connor. You know the improv thing. You know, you want it. Fuck you, Brock, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I know. I got a guest spot out of that. Yeah, I remember. What about you. it? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Rub Fuck that shit in, I remember dogs. that night. Fuck he brought it, it up. Rub it in. Rub it in. Fuck you for being a normal comedian. <laughs> fuck you for knowing how to write a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck you for doing well. <laughs> okay. But Dane said that out of all the comedians, his family remembered. It was me. That they could have remembered. Yeah, so. the Asian child. Yeah, the the one who made the N word in gay sex jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they remember. I'm just saying, I, that's a victory in my book. Okay, hey, people remember. You got people to remember you. That's yeah, a victory. Yeah. Man. You got fans, bro. You got fans. Hell yeah, no, Dane's family. <laughs> none of the none of the bookers like me, but I'm a man of the people, guys. <laughs> oh, did I, did I ever tell you the first time I got recognized? No. So I was at Astros and Lawrence. And um, that was after I did, like, Empire Barn Billiards. Mm -hmm. And this lady, like, went up to me. He's like, or, like, was right. Is it the pool bar over, pool table over? And she was like, Mm -hmm. hey, look, it's that comedy kid. It's him. (laughs) And then I was like, yeah, it's me. I'm Bill. It's so nice to see you. Good for you, man. I'm doing all right. That's awesome. Yeah. Like, I was telling people, like, I'm slain at this tender thing. And they were just like, oh, yeah, how many people have you hooked up with? It's like, I'm not good at that part yet. I'm, not, I'm good at the, the matches. <laughs> I'm pretty good at messaging them. I yeah. get about two or three in before they block me, so. Dude. Two or three more than other people. <laughs> they, none of them have unmatched me, so I'm I'm winning. Bro, I was I was, I was learning some, some stuff about just recently, bro, and, like, on, like, dating apps, on most of them, it's, like, 80% guys, like, 20% girls. And then, like the girls don't use that shit nowhere near as much as like guys do you know so like it's just all a numbers game i feel see, and kind of like patience and luck what? you know see i had a tinder at one point and as you can see i'm a sin <laughs> so i don't know why it didn't work out for me it's because you're like a terrible <laughs> that was a terrible right. joke. so i hate you brock <laughs> i just want to let both dude, be known dude i got an idea for a good tinder bio all right it's me shirtless <laughs> Oh, that! Look at this. I go like brick shit. <laughs> dude, do we, dude, what if you tattooed oh, that across your chest? God, like, I'm not tattooing that on my body, bro. <laughs> like, like thug life, like Tupac. Bill, I hate you. That could be your thing. I be, hate you so let's much. Let's think of what brick shit could stand for. Brothers, rice. Uh, so just for <laughs> some, just like for some context, I don't know if anyone even gives a fuck. But I was trying to be like a. A fitness like influencer or whatever for a little i'm i still kind of am and i was trying to get some engagement or whatever and i saw something some guy did it he took his shirt off and was like brick check and i was like oh that's like a cool like i don't know maybe my like ripped homies would send some shit back or something and i, I posted it on my story and then this dude bill like swipes up and from that day on bro all i hear is this motherfucker brick check brick check brick check all the fucking time bro he does it on his podcast. No one even knows what the fuck he's talking about. I'm just, I'm just at home, just getting hella mad, being like his like fucking fifth viewer or whatever the fuck. Just like, <laughs> stop. At least twenty. They're called listeners. All right. At uh, least twenty. Of at them. least. At least. That's good. I won. Shout out to what y'all. are you fucking doing, Dewey? What shout is this? Out, Vibrate. We talked this? about this. What the, is this? In the pre meeting Turn off. Turn it off. Turn off your phone. Turn it off. Airplane mode. Turn it off. Do we? This is like a date, and I paid for the food. Okay, so you better start <laughs> acting right. Acting right. I had my Chinese mother slave away for this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you can't say that. She went off. Why? Because. Why? It was unpaid because labor. Because of all the all the Chinese kids in in factories right now. It's yep. insensitive, Bill. I'm sure they get paid just like <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> all right, what are we talking about? So we had a story about you going to school and hating a teacher. Was it Truman <laughs> High School? <laughs> yeah, we could talk about it. I I was just talking about my high school principal and uh, how the time like we were upstairs talking about you going to college with your mom and how she thinks you should go. And there was one time my junior year, about the time you should start applying to colleges and stuff, a uh, principal came around and asked me and my friends at the table where we were applying to and where we wanted to go. And they all gave an answer. And when she got to me, I was like, I don't plan on going. And she's like, what? Keep in mind, 
when she started this, there was about five minutes left in lunch, okay? And then she lectured me for 20 minutes about how important school is and about how important college is and that my mom would want me to go to college. And then she's like, now go to class. And I went to class, and on my walk to class, I like reflected on what she said. And reflecting on it, I realized I did not agree with a single thing that woman said to me. So her whole lecture backfired. And the reason I thought that is because, one, if school was so important, why did you keep me out of class for 15 minutes to tell me about how important it is? Mm. Right? Mm. If it was so important, you would have said, oh, looks like you got to get to class. At the end of the day, I, come talk to me or so. We'll talk about it then. Right? The other thing, she was trying to use my mom to guilt trip me into going. I know she knows my mom, but she doesn't know how my mom feels about me in school. I had already talked to my mom about it. I had gotten on the same page with my mother, but she was trying to guilt trip me with it. Uh, and now, I didn't go to college. I got a job. I'm doing comedy. And I got a house and a car. So, and fuck you're, that. You're fuck like that Bill principal. Burr. Look at that. So, I feel like it's so... That perspective is so ignorant, but I feel like so many like people share that shit, you know? See, and the thing to <clears> me is like... It's not even that she like truly cared mm. all that much. No. She was just like, I'm a principal, so let's pump as many kids into the school system as we can. Yeah. Like she didn't really care about like what my she didn't ask me what my future plans were. Yeah. She well, didn't ask me what I really wanted to do. What do you do. care about believing oh, yourself? She just like, lectured me about how important college was. Yeah. She had no idea. She didn't know if I just didn't want to go to college because I was tired of school. Mm -hmm. She didn't know if I didn't want to go to college because I'd rather do a trade. She didn't even ask me if I wanted to do a trade. I could have had plans to go and be a plumber or an electrician. She didn't even ask me that. She just lectured me for for 20 minutes, and I just sat there and took it. Status quo. I mean, I thought about it, man, and you're right. She is a dumb bitch. (laughs) All right, so what we're doing here, she's like, she's like, Man, I don't want you to be some white trash, some ginger pollutant my the streets. <laughs> That's what she was talking about. I get where she's coming from. I think she wanted me to make it so that I'd move out of Kansas City and she wouldn't have to be a principal to my kids. Yeah. I think that's what she was trying to tell. <laughs> and she's like, I'm going to need you to get the fuck out of here <laughs> because I'm tired of seeing you around these schools and I do not want to see your kids here. Oh, I, it's true. Being dumber and uneducated actually makes you have more sex. That's a true story. That's why... I'm another level of comedy, another level of intelligence equal zero pussy. Dude, I'm telling you, dude. Okay, I'm serious. The more, like, I stopped being like, okay, this person's crazy. I'm not going to hang out with them. Zero pussy. It's over. It's zero. I'm like a virgin all over again. Are you following this? How, how yeah, kind of. How, how, is, is sex having, <laughs> is having sex important to you? Like, um, sounds like it. It's, it's a little bit, you know. <laughs> I want to have it every year or so, at least. <laughs> Big why? Uh, you know, because I feel like it's a core part of the human experience. <laughs> having sex? Uh, not having sex, but like being romantic relationships. <laughs> oh, yeah. this is weird, serious. Do we? You're tell also us 18, this? right? Yeah, uh, I'm 21. Shut the you're fuck 18 up, you lying motherfucker i just saw your <laughs> tinder bro you're 18. i've been on bars I, I go to bars look at i have like five fake ids yeah of course you do he's been lying to his podcast this whole time <laughs> where we just now called him out by accident yeah, i know um my dick works dude so well i just i just think like there's no inherent value in like getting with girls and like someone who gets with girls more often doesn't make them like a more valuable person or like think, someone who doesn't get with girls they're not less valuable I, or whatever but. i think most people uh, evaluate their uh, value based on women's approval, but also just there's this that. really yeah. cute, there's this really <laughs> cute girl on my work. Mm-hmm. She looks like Jay Leno. I don't know. <laughs> there's no is she cute? Wait, is she, <laughs> she cute or does she look like Jay Leno? <laughs> yeah. Do you think Jay Leno is cute? Is that what you're saying, Bill? You got a fat crush on Jay Leno, dog. Hold up, <laughs> Jay Leno a baddie, bro. J- I'll Jay blow Leno that nigga back if, up. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Jay Leno. If they had like dyed hair and um. Uh, hourglass figure. <laughs> Jay Leno. It's like a hot Jay Leno. A hot basically. Jay Leno. Like Jay Leno is cute and all, but it's like a hotter version about, of he, Jay Leno. Uh, she has the chin of Jay Leno. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's a strong chin. She's strong chin. she's her her face is Jay Leno shaped. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're into her? 
You're in a jam. No, I'm, I'm just hitting on every server that's leaving a college in like a week. Yeah. <laughs> Smart man. Smart. I'm macking, dude. I'm macking so hard. I'm getting good at it, but nothing beyond that. <laughs> Is this funny to you? I love that. Are you, what's, what's what's going on with you in Tinder and women? I had Tinder for a little bit, but I deleted it. What are you doing? I'm tired of it. Nothing. No one, like, comes up to you, oh, my God, that was so funny. Like. Wait, what? What's your question? No, no I, I ladies. I asking if you're, are you seeing girls? Like, you talking like, to any girls? Are like, 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 yeah. No you girls got groupies and shit? No. So, sometimes when I perform, um, like, people come up to me after, and I was like, oh, like, I hear you're not getting pussy. Like, I'd love to be that person. But, you know, I can sense the crazy, you know, so I might shoo them away. I, some, something in me <laughs> is doubting that very much. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, it's just I had so many times where, like, I do something with somebody, then they try to ruin my life afterwards. So I'm just like, if I sense anything wrong with them, you know, fly them away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I feel like everyone everyone has like a little bit like something you know like not everyone, no one's like perfect or whatever. Okay, but, well, and like it's a valuable, I think it's a valid place to be. In. Well, I am, I so that's the issue. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm on another <laughs> level. Brick check. Brick check. <laughs> Brick check. Represent. Brick check. You said like um, it's easy to be happy when you're so good looking, and that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Were you happy for real? I'm pretty happy. I'm working most days and making money. Like I'm actually saving up. Who cares? Oh, that's what you're doing though. Like, are you happy just in um, general? Like in your yeah, skin? Yeah. Like. I feel like I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and I have uh, I'm having short term enjoyment out of accomplishing things and long term goals I want to accomplish, including getting a girlfriend by the end of this year. <laughs> right, that's, that's one of your goals. <laughs> yeah, unironically. I feel like I don't know. Putting like a time limit on like getting a girl or whatever. Like I don't know. It's like. It's just luck, more or less, you know? Because, like, you really have no idea who the fuck you're interacting with, and then it takes a while to actually get to know them or whatever, and then it might not work out. If you so, got like, a time limit on it, you're going to end up settling. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to settle. You want to find a good girl for you. Yeah. Uh, so it's like, however long it takes, just let it, like, take that Don't long, settle you know? just because she's there. I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> you guys hey, know John. about manifesting? <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do. You know, this is a joke I had when I first started out. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it. And you guys will be like, wow, you were a comedic genius. That Popeye's joke, killer. Okay. I hate that joke. I uh, fucking hate that joke. <laughs> I just learned why it was funny like a week ago. So uh, what is it? Fuck. Oh, you guys know manifesting? Like, you know, manifestations? Yeah. What about manifestations? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to be in your life, ladies. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this one is there, I think, kind of. What's the Popeyes? Joke? Manifest Asian. The isn't it a little bit weird how Popeyes doesn't sell sandwich? <laughs> Sam spinach. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I hate that joke. That's stupid. People love it. People love I, stupid. I think, people, most people are stupid, and that's I what I'm saying. Dumb are, bitches. I I've heard like you know Joe List. You know who it is comic. No. Nah, he, he's like a, a famous comedian, but like he he all have jokes like that. They're like really it's dumb, but like are simple. But like uh, he kind of like uh, builds into it, you know, like builds his credibility. So like beforehand, he'll tell it like a joke that's like good and it's like funny and or whatever. And then kind of out of nowhere, he'll just hit you with this like quick little like one liner. It's like stupid, but it's like the credibility of what he just said and him already being funny just like plays into like that joke being yeah. funny. Like nah, we, what nah, we yeah, just say is try being funny every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it might work out in your People, favor. So I was I hanging out with all the young comedians, right? You went over, you know what table I'm talking about. And then a guy, hey, you know the people, <laughs> the cool guys, the cool kids. <laughs> and then um, the cool okay, boys, the cool boys, um, the small boys. Hell yeah. Small boys. Keep going. People said, uh, this guy came up to me. He's like, oh, I think you're so funny. You, you remind me so much of like Norm Macdonald. I was like, oh, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Who the fuck said that? I was some guy at the open mic. Mm. And then I killed, and then I'm gonna submit that to the Fountain City Comedy Festival. Get in, and then I'm going to just conquer the Kansas City comedy scene. That's what they call me. I oh, I updated the open mic list. That's another. I'm taking over. <laughs> taking over for David Scott. <laughs> taking over for. Everybody Hell taking yeah. over. Aaron Naylor's leaving, <laughs> taking over for him. Uh, Dayton Vincent is taking over for him. Do you see Aaron Naylor leaving as a as a spot opening up for yourself, Bill? I just see. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm just saying. Whether you like it or not, whether you see it or not, there's gonna be a power vacuum, and I'm gonna. <laughs> 
that up. Bill's gonna suck everybody <laughs> to get to the top. Yeah, dude. Man, isn't that he's the gonna cool do part? what needs to be done? <laughs> do what you gotta do. Gonna have bro. sex one way or another. I respect it. I respect it. And it's all gonna be business related. You guys, you guys hit on Gavin Nelson's mom. <laughs> bro, she's so fine, bro. So I've never fine. seen Gavin Nelson. Bro, you she's so fine. Were there? Fine, you were just high off your ass. Oh my god. When was he, this? He walked out of, with his mom outside the comedy club, and he go, you go. You think the we or you? You guys both go, dude. Your mom is hot as fuck. No, that was that was, that was me. That was me. <laughs> dude, I remember that night. Now, actually, yeah, because I remember like I remember like hitting that weed and be like, dude, she's standing right there still. Like, at least let her go to her car <laughs> before you start telling Gavin you want to fuck his mom. Yeah, um, I do remember that now. <laughs> so his girlfriend need, was there too. I need to text Gavin. I'm gonna make a note to text. Gavin I'm sorry later. about that mom thing. Shout out to Gavin. The thing is, he's Shout used to, to it. Mom. He's used to it because he, he brought his mom to like one of the restaurants, one of the other restaurants he works at. I work at with him. And then you restaurant. started hitting on his mom? No, right and then everybody else did. Dude, I don't know. Restaurants, <laughs> restaurants, are they're degenerate. Mm. Uh, they're degenerate. But like, you know me, I'm such a great server. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm good at it. Unironically, I'm good at what I do. Okay, guys? Uh, which means I'm, I reject women a lot. You should see my Tinder matches. It's like, I'm very picky. Let's talk about this. I'm very picky. Like, I don't like, a lot of women are annoying to me. <laughs> God, this does sound incel. It's over, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Incel is fuck, dog. Uh, um, guys are annoying, too. Guys are disgusting. Guys are fucking annoying. Guys blame everybody else for their product. They have anger issues. Guys just need to suck my dick. How about that? Um, but a lot of girls, I don't know. Is just, you attracted to Jay Leno? You want right. guys to suck him right. off. That's Keep talking about say. girls, dog. It's conflicting. So you can be bi, but because I have sex with women, mm-hmm. I promise. <laughs> so no, it's just I, like on Tinder. When I was bad at it, I was like, wow, I just feel like everyone is using this to judge me. Yeah. And then when I'm good at it, I just feel like, wow, people <laughs> yeah, are just. They are. That's what they're doing. And then, and then when I was good at it and I was getting matches, all like, oh, everyone's just using this for their own self validation from me. So it's just like you fucking lose. I feel like no matter what, I, f- I feel unless like unless you're some sort of like unless you're the top tippy top. Well, I think I think putting men. like a there's no way you can know someone's intention, you know, without like actually talking to them or whatever. So you're just like assuming. That's you know? crazy because it, it could I, be I can't. Either. That's right. It's crazy because I just have, you know, Professor X from X Men. That's me. I can fucking just read people. <laughs> Cause, cause you the, struggle getting that shit out. You said Professor X. <laughs> I was going to say Xavier, <laughs> Professor Xavier, Xavier, but I wasn't trying to shorten it. I feel can you. He so, really read people's minds? I thought he could just move shit with his mind. That's how I'm good at, so good at comedy. I think, because, I think he could, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can read people's minds. They're like, dude, this guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> This guy is so funny. Dude, like, everyone bombed at Merce last night. That was great. I really? enjoyed that. I mean, it, the crowd was bad, yeah, because it was college kids. And then I shouted out my Instagram at the end of my set, and then no one subscribed. People will, like, be like, oh, wow, you do stand-up comedy. That's so cool. I'll show them my Instagram, and then they'll not follow me. I'm so insecure. <laughs> yeah, we, we all are for real. Dude, um, What are no, you insecure about? I'm insecure about how much I love my mama. Why would you be secure about that? Uh, I don't know. It just feels like I don't know. This it's, is that's cute, bro. This that's is, a good thing. It's just that's like cute. or how I treat my mom or how like letting people into my house and be like, ah, I feel like I have a good relationship with my mother. This is getting too personal. I'm gay. Uh, so <laughs> too personal. It's your podcast, dog. Like why yes. wouldn't it be personal? Like let these motherfuckers know who you are. You know yeah, let saying? me know. Bring bring it's some value. Bill Bennett. Hey, people don't even people came to this podcast for Brock because he's a famous. <laughs> Instagram real star <laughs> now. Let's talk about the G- He's going off though. He has some good shit though. Yeah, for the real. video kind of slowed down. I think it's kind of maxed out, but it's still it did pretty well. Yeah, just because you have one. Well for me. That's, yeah, that's, that's the ginger dope. king dope. is here. <laughs> they voted for me, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? I, I don't understand. Damn. I don't understand ginger slander, bro. Like Connor be on stage just talking mad shit on gingers, bro. Dude, with like jokes and stuff. The thing is with me, no one wants to be their mascot. Because I'm not a normal fucking human being, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I feel like I'm a fucking like Lovecraftian monster that no one wants to hang around. Okay, dog, you're not normal, but that's like good, you know. It's like good, you know who you are. Really? You is know, it? Like, is it really that good? Is, I, it, I think. Is, it, is it like a good thing? What's happening in my life? Yeah. Well, no, I just, 
But there's like realness to you and like truth and shit, and you're like developing and growing. Dog, you're 18 years old. Like you literally, you're so young. The you truth know? is, I don't fuck, but I should. <laughs> That's the <laughs> truth. That's the truth. The, the truth is, I'm a killer comedian. Okay, I'm gonna submit my clips to the festivals around the city. Okay, <clears throat> I'm. You're the king of the gingers. Guess what? I'm the king of the incels. All right, <laughs> I'm taking over, <laughs> dude. Dude, waters are free at Red Door, but I, I, I ring them up every time. <laughs> I ring them up. I put waters, <laughs> waters in the point of sale system. That's what a POS is, a point of sale system. I, I ring up waters on the machine, dude. Bill, you're a POS. <laughs> <laughs> dude, waters. I don't know why I like saying that so much. Waters? Yeah, man. Hmm. Give me some of those waters. Get some straws and some lemon with those waters. <laughs> see, it's starting to hit. It's starting to hit, dude. Dude, sometimes when I see a water, it's like, it's not like icy enough. So I'm like, brick check, brick check, brick check. Dude, honest to God, if you, if you had brick check tattooed on your abdomen like Tupac, dude, that would be cool as fuck. That would be thug life as fuck. Did I alienate the rest of you guys? Uh Huh? What do you think about that? It's fun, bro. It's fun. It's a fun idea. So, Dewey, are you okay with this? Are you okay with uh, this brick check behavior that I'm doing too? (laughs) Yeah, it's it's hilarious, bro. (laughs) I just, I think it helps with like just reminding me, like, don't take yourself so serious. You know, like nothing is ever that deep. Like, have fun. I don't know. It's it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. Somebody too that like not no one knows what the fuck you're talking about like it's just me like I'm the only one just like <laughs> boiling in my room just ah <laughs> I'm doing it for you and me that's what's so great about my comedy I'm doing it for two people <laughs> <laughs> I can tell bro I can tell sometimes that's what I mean it's um I can tell sometimes. <laughs> that's what I mean it's like some uh Dustin Coffee is like you're not relatable and I was like I'm the most relatable of all I'm fucking crazy dude. <laughs> i'm fucking crazy and i have sex dude honest to god i had there was like i had a situation in high school where like a group of women were trying to have sex with me like a joke no because it's like (laughs) damn right because because i'm nice open-minded to be serious because i'm nice because i'm nice open-minded like sort of hippie and um i'm like masculine physically but um, i have the mind of a woman <laughs> but um yeah like three girls were all trying to hook up with me this asian chick oh why does it race four matter? girls why does their race matter you were told their race because they were all white girls and the asian is what distinguished her okay. it's crazy there's two Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Whatever. There's two Asian hosts at my at my work. <laughs> I'm about to get fired. They don't think it's a list of this shit. <laughs> yeah, this they ain't did. getting back to them. Dog. Small boys podcast is blowing up. <laughs> Hell yeah! Dude, I, got I like Kelly. Also, like said, there's two. Oh, I'm gonna get fired, and then continue to say <laughs> it. Like if you would have stopped at there's two, you would have been fired. <laughs> so and it's like you know what? Screw it. I don't my, need that job. I don't, I'm a comedian. You, hey, fuck my job. Fuck. Dude, Do it for people have bit. said so much worse. The restaurant industry is so unprofessional. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. What is it? Fuck, I have a job. Hmm? I'm not employed and my dick works. Okay, let me think. Um, uh, what? There's two Asian hosts <laughs> and I confused the <laughs> what two. What the fuck did you just say? Keep going, sorry. Because they're, cause it's, just, it's just weird because they're both Asian and I recognize and I like worship them for that. But it's also like they're. Do you have an Asian fetish? No, I just, I think they're cool. Um, if I think they're under eighteen, and I don't see women like under eighteen right now, because you might want to get your eyes checked. Girls, kind of weird. Girls, <laughs> girls that haven't graduated high school. They're There's like twelve. It's like invisible. Like I can't. Right. Where are they? Hey, yeah. have you seen my niece? No. <laughs> they go where? Nah, dog. I haven't seen her. <laughs> is she is she under eighteen? I ain't. Once she turns shit. eighteen, I'll help you find her. But until then, <laughs> I hope I'll I can't her. help and, and hit her up too. <laughs> shit. That's that's like a that's like that'd be a good like. CW show or something like he finds underage women are invisible but he knows how to find those <laughs> <laughs> of age bitches why, why you gotta like, call them bitches bro I don't know how yeah. to say ladies ladies there you go okay women are cool women are just as equal as men um I'm trying to think I had like a really good point earlier 
What am I gonna blow up on Instagram reel? That's what I say. What am I gonna get three <laughs> thousand followers? Wait, 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 I got finish th- your story about the girls, the high school, the girls trying to have a foursome with you or something. Oh, yeah. The, what happened? The girls. You said From the Asian chick oh, and then the, like all the other girls, white girls. They wanted to oh, fuck you yeah. at the same time. So yeah, there's this the Asian gal, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> but she was like Asian trash. <laughs> I'm being racist. Okay. <laughs> but she was just like really trashy. Okay. Um, and then there was this, I don't know, crazy gal that had like her ex's name cut into her leg. Cut into her leg? Yeah. She, the knife in, that's, they love the knife in. <laughs> she was like, well, I hope she didn't <laughs> cut it in with a blunt end because if not, if she did that, that was a strong ass bitch. She was like, she was like, My. she was like, well, why don't you use the blade? It'd be <laughs> easy. She asked, she asked me to have sex and I was like, hey, she's like, you want to play Smash Bros and Smash? Women. So cool. Okay. And then, um, I don't know. And then this other girl was like, he, she had like different dyed hair every few months and like love sucking dick or something. And, um, those were the three girls. Two of them were white, one of them were Asian. The other one, and three, they, they all want to hook up with you at one time. Um, yeah, they were all kind of gunning for me, like <laughs> for like a like an orgy, like individual, like all together at once. Or just like, they were all uh, competitive. Okay. So imagine though, like an emo chick, right? If you bang an emo emo chick and then she just hands you a knife, she's like, "Can you put another tally on my back for me?" Jesus oh my god, Christ, that bro. that bitch, that bitch. Was, I, I hung out. I chose. Dog. I chose one. Cancel of Brock right now. <laughs> Go in this we edit that part out. All social media. I, cancel this. I man. chose. I chose. I'll tag not. me in this. I, I chose. <laughs> I chose one of the girls, and then so it was her birthday. I, I was seeing her for a few months. Oh, you gave it, it to birthday. her as a birthday present? No, I gave her a sweatshirt <laughs> with my name on it for her birthday because it's like I own her now. Uh, <laughs> I want a label. It's, it's I bought her something. Now she's mine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I gave Bill, her dad. It's a hard girl. to tell. They, it's hard to tell when you're like being serious with that shit because you don't be saying like I'm joking or like <laughs> you won't continue. You just like keep talking like it's normal. You bought her dad a goat. And he <laughs> owned her. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted people to know. Dude, that reminds me. In high school, I had a friend who started dating the uh, the basketball coach's <laughs> daughter. And he was, like, talking with her. And, like, we didn't really like the basketball coach. He was kind of an asshole. Fuck and so I told my friend, I was like, dude. He was telling me he was going to, like, ask her out officially, make things official. And mm-hmm. I said, dude, go to Walmart. Buy a packet, buy a pound of bacon, right? And give her that and a note that says... It's baking me crazy that you're not my girlfriend. And hear me out. Hear me out. And I told him to do this. And I explained this to him. And I was like, think about it, though. You're going to give that to her. She's going to think it's stupid. But she's going to say yes, right? And then she's going to put that bacon in the, in the fridge. And then her dad is going to come and fry it up and eat that bacon. So he's going to eat the bacon you bought. Her. It's basically going to be like you bought his daughter with a pig. <laughs> I would have come on it. I and th- why? I why would you? It. That's I disgusting. I would on it. That's disgusting. That's not a good prank. There was this girl. She no. So yeah, the whole rest of the year we were like, yeah, Hayden bought coach's daughter with a pag of bacon. <laughs> that oh, sucks. Did he, are they going out? Did they go out for that? Yeah, they go out for that. that. And worked? he told me that he did in fact eat the bacon. I was like, I fucking told you he would. <laughs> you bought her with a bag of bacon. <laughs> that shit worked though. The bacon me crazy stuff. Yeah. It was it was stupid, I, but uh, my, it's like it's like cute. She probably already they were they were basically shit. already a yeah. thing. They just hadn't made things official. Yeah, my favorite that's part of, that's kind of cute. I my like favorite that. part of high school is when like um you'd like slowly learn that a lot of your like guy friends are creeps, and it's like it's like she's like yeah, like I don't know, like he kissed me, <laughs> like I, like I Wait, what what's a creep to you? Like what do you mean by that? Or just like they're just like oh like you know they're seniors hitting on the sophomores, <laughs> or they're Ooh. just like. Like pedophile type or, or like the no, just like it's not like pedophile. It's yeah, just like yeah. they're just being weird and you know trying to grab any pussy they can get with being a creep. Rage. Being a creep, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, or just like you know, uh, yeah, like oh, I just didn't want to kiss him. But then you'd have like girls like do that to you, and then I was like, I don't know if anything is real. <laughs> so, I don't know. okay, well, uh, I was having a story earlier. Yeah, they were all trying to have sex with me, right? Um. Yeah, one of them um, the baddies. I don't know they it, they were all like really super competitive. I don't know. It's just like I I like I, the type of people I attract is like a very certain type of person. I think they all have to be like sort of like counterculture or crazy. They they have to be like this person. 
they but don't like, have to be that. That's just your experience. Yeah, that's the experience of the the that vaginas I put my penis in. Stop. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, not not all girls are like that, you know. It's yeah, kinda, no, he's girls are lucky, like bro. He's girls are like lucky. uh individual people who like uh, matter so, with like yeah, real choice. No yeah, so the the thing that irritates me with like Tinder, so God, girls are like real people. Too. <laughs> yeah, like they have free will. Like they have thoughts and opinions. <laughs> like I mean, I and had a conversation matter. with one, and it was just crazy, like how much. <laughs> We had in common, and like, they matter. Like there. Women, women's rights matter. I support like abortion, even like recreational abortion. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is recreational abortion, bro? I think <laughs> please, we do it for fun. <laughs> please hold up. I think Explain. I think they're just as good at chess <laughs> or video games as or comedy as anybody else. I think we just need to change society. So it's uh, we encourage women to have those. I see uh, you things. reading that hold script on, wait, in front of you. Rec- recreational abortion, dog. What the fuck was that about? I feel like as long as you're not. Ripping a baby out. Recreational already. sounds like it's for fun. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. Bill's like, vote no, kids. I don't give a shit. I, I'm, I'm pro-choice no, up to like 78 months. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so I, I did research. I don't know. I like thought about all the bad things in the universe. And it was like in the cowboy days in the Wild West, with, when I was like, I wonder what prostitutes do, right? They would get pregnant, right? Because they're having sex. There's oh, no when they get pregnant. Condoms. I thought you were saying what, what yeah. prostitutes do. Yeah. Like, they well, like, well, they just leave the baby out. <laughs> they like, just, it's, like it's someone's house or like a farm or something? Like uh, in the wild, wild west. Go and lay it outside. It's yeah. called infatricide. It's what Casey Anthony did, right? Yeah. Casey Anthony? Yeah. Yeah. Kaylee, Casey, Anthony. Those are pretty cool names. I kind of like the Anthony, Kaylee, Casey. Kind of, kind of gives that. I don't know. It's a rhyming. Wait, wait. Scheme. Casey, Anthony did infanticide. Yeah. Uh, she had a kid, and then she like she was in Florida. She like took it out. I think she like didn't took it out like in the woods or something, and just like left it there. I don't know. She yeah, killed her baby. Suffocated, yeah. You're lying. Yeah. No, Stop really this, Florida. bro. So With, do, hold on. It was a it was a while a long time yeah. ago. Who's Casey Anthony? Who's a that? white woman? It's a white woman that had a baby and then killed it. And then oh, she was like, known for? And then she was like, "Hey guys, oh, I like I got I thought, I thought this Casey Anthony was like a friend or somebody you knew nah, or something." Nah, nah. Okay, this is no. like a new story. She's like, from like 2008. Okay, okay. Okay. Like it, it seemed pretty yeah. obvious that she did it, but the defense attorney was really good and he was like telling people that like her family molested her at a young age or hmm. some crazy shit. Hmm. I yeah, wanted to make a joke kill, about that, but I feel like kill that's the a little fucking too baby, far. Though. <laughs> Wild. what is it yeah dude um prostitutes my, wild west it's just it just about? feels so weird it's just like um everybody um i feel like everybody in high school was like trying to fuck but like doing every action that would prevent you from ah or doing a lot of actions that would prevent you from being able to fuck but like they wanted to like look cool instead does that make sense god damn it Wait, i wasn't explain, cool in explain high specific school. i was a floater yeah what are you talking about um I guess I just didn't like high school. I don't really know it. Yeah. <laughs> no, like it just it just a lot of people were either like, um, I don't know. But it just it, it irritates me like being going on dating apps and seeing all these people. It, it doesn't frustrate me like anything. It frustrates me if I can see them obviously trying to be somebody else. That's what really upsets me. And I, I guess I I don't know why that matters more than literally anything else. So yeah, do you think you're good at like judging if people are being fake? No, I just, I just know that I, I familiar with society's expectations, and I'm familiar with somebody trying to fit them. Because mm-hmm. I'm Professor Xavier. Pew, 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 my mind. What are society's expectations? You know, um, for for a young man like yourself, having a seven inch penis. You know, oh, that's specific for, as fuck. Wait, why seven? <laughs> why seven? I feel like six is like that's nice, but seven is like good. okay. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, all right, what else? What He's else? tested them. Okay. So, um, being six foot, uh, like having a job, not living with your mother in her basement, um, being white, um, you know. <laughs> That's what society being like, funny. wants. This yeah. Is what... Yeah, I'm saying. I have a. You are listening to a disenfranchised, young, qu- queer minority youth right now. Are you? Are you like bisexual or gay at all? We row that way. Sh- sure. You've yeah. been with, you've been with guys. No. Are you interested in guys? I'm queer. I don't know. 
Like, what does that mean? Are you saying that? Like, what does that mean? What does it mean? Right. Queer? Are you I trying to get that? Yeah. Are you trying to like get that target audience? Or are you really queer? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm so like you said it. You have to live with it. Now. I'm yeah. so I'm so anti-performative homosexual that I don't even want to say I'm a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? What's but anti- I've I've, so I've, like, performed I've had homosexual? sex with women multiple times, like in the double. Yeah, dishes. you said that a lot. So there's a this lot. there's this girl. She's the daughter of like the administrative like lead. That's not what we're talking about. We want to go back. No. We go back. Yeah, you, are you this queer? Not, are, you, are you not? I don't yeah. know. I don't think about it that often. I'll be yeah, honest. I don't have sex. I got another one. This one's made of wood. No, quit, 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 quit trying to deflect. I don't think about it. Okay, I have gay sex jokes. I can express myself. I don't know. But you said. You yeah, we're queer. Are yeah. queer. A little or bit. Are you not? I, I am. I am queer in the traditional sense of the word. Yes. What, is that? what, what does that mean? Yeah, what's the traditional I'm like sense? weird. I'm on the spectrum. That's not what. Yeah, that that's not means. queer. No, that's no. what queer means. Okay. It means weird in a funny way. That's what queer means. That sounds like cap. Can you look that up, Google, Jamie? Can you Google that bitch. <laughs> you guys have uh, phones. That's true. Oh wait, wait, wait! I asked you to turn them off. Turn, don't turn them on. Don't turn them on. <laughs> my shit, stop. My shit was never off. I'm looking it up right now. Oh, you're fucking up the microphone. You're put it on airplane mode, you asshole. How am I fucking the microphone up? Somebody just called me. I'm gonna call him back. I'm gonna see how this. You goes. looking it up, bro? Queer. The definition. Someone is calling me right now. What's happening? Answer it. Put him on the podcast. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm calling him right now. I. I haven't shit, talked to this guy in like that a That shitty year. ass Android ring. What it's a, fucking what a bum. Snapchat. What a bum. God damn it. I'll... I have an Android too. I'm just joking. God damn it. Fuck Projecting this. a little bit. No, I, d- d- uh, this is a lull in the podcast that I, I don't want to deal with right now. Can you, <laughs> is it searching up? If Guys, we're queer. I'm, so there's this girl <laughs> that was the daughter of <laughs> the administrative leave in my, lead in my high school. Yeah. And, like, I met her in, like, in a basement once of my friend's house at, like, 2 a.m. And mm-hmm. she's, like, I don't know, lying about not having a boyfriend. It was cool. And then my friend, like, tried to put on, like, like, like a sex movie. <laughs> and then um, nothing happened. Nothing happened. High school was fucking sucked. You watched a sex movie with your friend and a girl? It was, like, one of those weird, like, Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, mm. oh, my God. Like, I just love the fantasy, you know. I want a rich man to like hold me financially hostage and then like do kinky BSM shit with me. You bro, know you, what I'm saying? You be talking about girls a lot, bro. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Gee, what the fuck? So was that? Straight. <laughs> it kind of scared me, bro. <laughs> oh, this guy answered. He responded. Hey, what what does what does queer mean, bro? What is queer? Did you, you look it up? Hey, what's up? Gay. Are you there? It just means gay, it's more or less. Not yeah, yeah. He's responded. What's up? Hello? Do you happen to have uh, an extra processor? <laughs> no, not not off the hand. No, I'm What's doing his a, name? <laughs> I'm doing a podcast right now. <laughs> Welcome to the Small Boys Podcast. What brings you on? <laughs> this is a he's a comedian. Hello, mm-hmm. valued listener. What's your question <laughs> for us? I was just asking him if he had a processor. You got a processor? No, no. I'm, I'm, Any more questions for the <laughs> podcast? This is the same guy. No, he's. What's up? I'm scared. So I think I know this guy. I think. He... I don't know. He's talking about something about the southern borders and stuff. Confederacy and shit. I, dog. Yeah. I feel like we should. Hang I forgot. Out, I, I think. I, oh no. <laughs> there's this like a short. There's this short like German Nazi guy that I know, and I think this is who this is. Um, so, you have Nazi friends, Bill? <laughs> no, I'm actually like Antifa. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> that's a great. That's a great situation. I'm actually Antifa. I'm actually like um, I'm Anti- about like fascist. I'm actually about like beating up Nazis. Have you ever beaten up a Nazi? Yeah, my dad. My dad is just oh, just hate my dad. You ever been in a fight, bro? Like a fist fight? I don't know. That's not, a challenge, not, not, by not, the way. Like, n- not like. <laughs> Rick, Jack, Rick, Jack, Rick, Jack, Rick Jack, beat me up, motherfucker. Go, shut up. This shit, washboard. Okay, 
You can't even break through it. It's like those anime movies where it's like, I didn't even pierce his skin. Like, what happened? Hey, Bill. <laughs> Fucking love it. What's anime? happened? I realize we're in the middle of the podcast. But yeah. Where's your bathroom at? <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we can, we can just do it. We can be me and you. What am I? Well, I, I would say, too, like, in the beginning of a podcast, like, is there, can you really have expectations, you know? Like, yes. It, Hmm. Yes, I'm an amazing comedian, and I'm just I'm good at talking. That's cap. I'm, I'm great at talking. You're awful. <laughs> I'm good you, at talking. You like interrupt a lot, and then like you'll start a story, and then start another one, and then start another one, and yeah. start, start another words. one. I'm good yeah. at talking. No, I want to talk about other things while well, you guys are trying to uh, counsel me on my sexuality. <laughs> are we back no, on the podcast I, right now? <laughs> are we back? <laughs> no, we're not. We haven't started Fuck yet. This. Fuck this, Brock Bristow. <laughs> Fuck. Being white, BBB baby, white people don't have soul. Ginger, <laughs> even, even less of a soul. You got hell of a soul, bro. This you is guys, so full of shit. Are bro, I'm like Aretha Franklin. Hell yeah. No, you guys are like demons. That's what you guys are. <laughs> you guys are like <laughs> left-handed people, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with left-handed folk? Um, they're, they're wrong. Demon spot. <laughs> it's called right for a reason. So what, what was it like going to Truman High School? Do you have any fun stories? Uh, I found out me and my friends were popular after high school. That was a weird experience. Oh, that yeah. means... That explain. Means... Explain. Elaborate. So there's this girl I was talking to, and she like said something about... like like She went to high school with me, but I didn't really talk to her in high school. Mm-hmm. And then like I was talking to her after high school a couple weeks ago, and... I don't know, she was talking about, like, high school and, like, how we never talked to each other. And, like, and she said that she saw me as, like, a popular kid in high school. And I was like, was I popular? I didn't think I was popular. And she's like, yeah, like, I know me and a lot of other people thought of, like, the popular people as. And then she, like, listed, like, all of my friends and me. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's like, I didn't know we were popular. Uh, like, I went over to my, I hung out with my friends later that week and I was like, Hey, do you guys know we were popular in high school? And one of my friends was like, yeah, I found that out like after we graduated. And I was like, yeah, I just found that out this week. Apparently, we were popular. And like, if I would have known that while we were in high school, I would have had such a bigger head. I would have been walking around the halls like, hey, how's it going? Yo, yo, it's me. I'm popular. <laughs> Abuse you know? that shit, bro. Right. I'd, I'd say hi to everybody. <laughs> but I'd get. I'd have, I'd be so egotistical nah, yeah, you, and you hard to deal act, with. I act like people were like up beneath you and shit. You're right. like, nah, we nah, just nah. thought we were just normal people in the school, <laughs> yeah. and then we found out we were popular the whole time. Yeah. It was bullshit. I, I, I said hi to everybody in school, and I wasn't popular. So <laughs> You see, I didn't say hi to anybody, and apparently you, I was. So yeah. maybe that's the secret. Yeah, that's because oh. people, people, people like... They saw you scowl. Be, they, we didn't say I didn't say hi to people, so they must have thought I was on some yeah. other level. Yeah, bro. <laughs> there was one time though where I said bye, where I said hi to a lot of people. It was my junior year. No, yeah, it was my junior year, mm-hmm. and these French students came over for the the. There's a large group of French students that were co- gonna come over for two weeks, mm-hmm. and then in spring, uh, all the students that hosted those kids were gonna go to France for two weeks. Yeah. So while they were there. Uh, they were over here in America during homecoming week, so I ended up talking with one of one of the French students, and he told me what to say to this French girl, and so I took her like to the dance or whatever. Hell yeah! And but like, there, I was like talking to her in the halls and stuff, mm-hmm. and I like said hi, and like we were walking, and when we were walking together down the halls, I just started saying hi to everybody. To make it seem like I was popular. <laughs> like, I was like, hey, what's up? How's it going? Hey, Bill. I didn't know the guy's name. I was like, what's up, Bill? What's up? Hey, how you doing, Rebecca? I don't know. I don't know any of these people. Fuck? And I'm like, just like walking by. And like, she's like, like, she's looking at me seeing this. And she's like, oh, he's popular. But all these people I'm walking by are like, what's up, dude? Like, who, who the hell was that? Fuck you on, bro. Who's that guy? Fuck you, Brock. You're dating <laughs> French chicks. And- I did in high school. Fuck I took one to homecoming. Fuck you. I didn't get to go we, to prom. We, Fuck you. Talk about how hard I didn't it get is. to go to prom either. Fuck you how hard it is to be a ginger at I didn't high get school. To like, go I was to prom. popular. Fuck. You were so popular that you couldn't even tell you were Dude, popular. There was no competition. I pretend with that French girl, I 100% pretended like I was popular. Just saying hi to everybody. But you I were. You were know. pretending. If you just actually were popular. Wait, Bill, Bill, I don't you- know if I was popular at that point yet. Bill, you said you were unpopular? No, I wasn't unpopular. I was just like, that guy's nice. He's really weird, though. That was everyone's <laughs> reaction. 
It's not funny. That's just a real story. <laughs> that wasn't that, that wasn't a joke for the podcast. I'm just telling you guys how it was for me. So you laughing feels dismissive of my entire life journey, dog. That's like you though. Like you're you're weird as fuck, bro. But it's okay because like you're you, and that's like beautiful. Like seeing someone be themselves is like, like, like a powerful and special ed child beautiful <laughs> i mean now you're cool. shitting on yourself bro i'm just i'm just saying bro it's no, cool being weird it's i'm cool just being saying individual. it's like i was watching this video about like psychopaths about how like if you act too much out of the cultural norm it's like a disorder <laughs> like a certain type of personality types well i think i think acting outside of the cultural norm for like the simple fact of like being counterculture is stupid but if you just do shit that you enjoy, that's not normal yeah, culturally, I, then, I mean, you're being yourself. You know? I'm also it's like a, a result thing. of, like, cultural mixing, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Sometimes it's like, I feel like, you know, you know Great Berlin? Mm. You know the Berlin Wall? Yeah. 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 Sometimes it's just like, you know what I mean? Tear down this wall, you know what I'm saying? It's like, brick check. <laughs> Puff, puff, I'm ass. just like I'm already trying to have a serious ass conversation. Oh, <laughs> I used to fucking these, these guys are sniffing Sni- sharpies. That no. shit smells puff, nice. puff, pass. I'm not. It smells great. Trashy. So let let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start detailing all my sexual experiences. This is my sex journal, guys. Uh, the small boy sex journal. All right, let's hear all both of them. Um, it, it, I did it multiple times. First girl I ever had sex with. The first. I'm gonna hear the first girl I ever kissed. Uh, I don't know. First of all, I kissed with, your this, with this crazy girl. She was like, I started talking to her because she's like, oh, my God, like, I think I might be pregnant. Damn. <laughs> she was, like, sleeping with this, like, 21-year-old guy drunk. Good with ass kisser, thing. dog. Holy shit. She, she was uh, 15 or 16. I was 15. And then I kissed her on top of an abandoned building. Nice. Um, that sounds romantic. And then, like, a week or Sounds creepy, low-key. <laughs> Then a few weeks later, did she consent to it, or was it because she was on top of an abandoned building? <laughs> now that's the a little too close part. to the edge. She's like, if I say no, he might he might push hold, me. Hold on, that's the interesting part. Why? No, I'm kidding. Okay, okay, good, good. <laughs> but um, I mean, she ghosted me, called me a jerk, and then she I, ghosted uh, me. She fell off the top of the building. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what she told people. She was like, he's gonna like throw me off the building or something. Oh damn. And then I kissed her stepsister. So who's really winning here? <laughs> well, she was uh, the stepsister was eighteen. I was fifteen. So oh, who, so you were technically who's really winning here? You know what I'm saying? That's Tori. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I had a joke. I, I guess it was like, hey guys, the first girl I dated uh, was eighteen, and I was fifteen. I was, I guess the joke was like, I was getting raped for months. I thought that was funny, but I think I'm just fucked up. <laughs> I think it's good. I like that. That's a good joke. <laughs> I was getting raped for months. <laughs> He's like, I think that's funny. That's not something I should tell a therapist. <laughs> I thought that was a good joke, and they're just like, it just doesn't make any sense. Well, she's 18. You're 15, you know? Yeah. Maybe say you were like 14 or 13 or something. Something younger. Yeah. But Some... Cause they, I, they don't, cause they don't, I don't know. Like not a, all comedy has to be like 100 percent true, you know. But no, I was that, a pussy grabber from young age. Okay. Yeah, I should just, <laughs> okay. I should just lie, lie about my first girlfriend, and make it sound way worse than it actually was. Yeah. You've had some shitty ass experiences. With girls. And then after that, and it feel bad because it was my friends. So it was my bro. So the 18 year old was my brother's friend, who was also my friend's stepsister, who was also the s- stepbrother of another guy. And then I dated. <laughs> I dated, I dated one of his his friends after that. Brad trying to figure and then this I, out. And then I, I'm trying, I'm trying to make a, a map in my head. <laughs> this girl and wants then, to build. And then I hooked up with his ex girlfriend. Wait, whose ex girlfriend? I was busy doing math. This the ex girlfriend's sister's brother's bro. dog. Yeah, who's also someone's oh, cousin. It, it, it was like fucked up of me to do that, but that was like the first time I ever had like sexual experiences and like i didn't know i was the type of person like a people pleaser and like i didn't know how to say no and like a lot of situations especially like that romantic or people are trying to seduce you like they will they will lie they will do all these things if you give them what they want they will actually resent you for it you know what i mean in that situation oh whatever they were all i I was manipulated okay i was manipulated facts facts all right so i think getting away from like generalizations could be like helpful don't take my advice with a grain of salt. Yes, but 
every saying, woman is an individual yeah, in the same so, way that so I'm an talk individual. About, talk about your individual shit. Don't, wh- wh- don't say, oh, all women wh- are fucking... Women, oh, yeah, women, women are you cool. give them what they want. They just women fucking, are cool. They just I, fucking I, tell I, you, they just ghost you, or I kick you off the building or whatever. I have probably like. more women, male friendships, well, I mean, fam- female friendships than ma- like close ones because women are more available to talk about their emotions. They're not... Bro, I've been trying to talk to you this whole time. Every single fucking serious thing, you fucking just... Just go now off we, weird Now we've tangent. been trying to go deep with you, and Bruh, you've been deflected. Yeah. So you know what you I mean? think? I think you're d- a Dawit downer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a fucking Dawit likes you to get, get deep and personal with yeah. people. Yeah. I'm just trying to do it's, it's comedy podcast. No, I, okay. Yeah, I mean, individual women, it just sucks because it's just like I feel othered constantly and rejected by society. You know, most people are trying to fit in groups. It's not like <laughs> personal, but it kind of is because of the way I choose to express myself and who I am. And all window- women are individuals, and there's probably somebody there for me eventually, but I shouldn't have to rush it. And I'm gay. Okay, uh- so there you go. We did it. I just... I mean, I don't know. It's just, it just everything is like a foregone conclusion. But basically, is oh, wait a few years, you'll find yourself. People will find yourself. People will grow more mature. You, will, you know, it's just like, it's just like every time I would have a hard time in high school, they'd be just like, it gets better after high school. It's like, yeah, I guess it, it's, it's better. <laughs> it's still not good. It's still been like my life isn't good. Yeah. Like not like it's, it's not, not bad, but it's like it's obviously. I don't want to be here in the next five, ten years, right? Yeah. Like in this position that I currently am in. Yeah, the cliche, the cliche, of, the cliche of like your life gets better after high school is like bullshit. It's, if you it's, don't like actually not, try to make it better. It's not bullshit, but it's not like well, it if didn't you don't happen. Try. Yeah, it's it not like happen, it didn't yeah. happen. Yeah. You have to saying. do something else other than just relive high school. Yeah, I'm you fucking try, bro. intelligent. I'm <laughs> I have a hundred and thirty-six IQ. I can is, think, is, that, is that real? Yes. Is that really? How do yes. you test your IQ? You get a psychological evaluation done at you at 13 because your parents don't like you. That's how you do it. You'd be like, they'd be like, why are you so weird? What's wrong with you? And like, wow, I guess he's just actually a super genius and we just don't understand him like that. And neither do fucking stupid comedian audiences or bookers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bill Bennett, the Kanye West of, of comedy. Yeah. Who was in Paris? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas. Niggas. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that bit we did where I had you come up on stage for me? Yeah. We're the tag team. I feel good. I feel I'm glad that, like, I'm here. I feel glad that I can be, like, a, tr- a third. A th- we can do, like, a three musketeers, right? Because you guys, I feel like, are a good duo. The Wheat and Brock. They call them DB. <laughs> they call them. Like Dave and Buster's. <laughs> yeah, the Dave and Buster's. <laughs> I are... would say I would say we're a duo, but Brock's a good dude though. Yeah, I enjoy our Thank friendship you. and stuff. Thank you. Yeah, we're like this. Well, I guess it's getting close to the end. So, I mean, you want to make deep thoughts? Do you have any things you'd like to touch on? Anything to promote? I'm doing. I guess I'm doing a private show. I guess theoretically. When's your private show? It's like a corporate thing. It's like a company wanted me to do like. 10 minutes at, at, at like a studio of theirs mm-hmm. cool. um this monday it's like in their studio yeah. with like with curtis and uh who else is max in it too i think max i think jake redpath and aaron scarborough fuck yeah bro fuck it's yeah. cute that's gonna Sweet. be a good show right. i want i want i need i want to start getting into hosting because the host battle is coming up and yeah i think i could do it it's just some of the jokes i have are intentionally like very testy so just don't use those yeah but I'm just I'm just saying like that that's why like a lot a lot of them um I say I do like reverse comedy so <laughs> I do I do I have I have reverse punchlines where the audience is actually disappointed to hear the end of the the punchline <laughs> like have you ever done that before does, does it does it work does it work for you no like sometimes sometimes like because so, like when you do something like or when you do like anxious humor or like awkward humor sometimes it can be like the awkward can make it more funny. And then we're sometimes going to make it, for some people, just painful. Because like, I told a joke, and it was, and they're like, they, they thought the premise was funny. And then I told the punchline, they're like, oh. <laughs> but it's all right. It happens all the time. I'm hilarious. Don't worry. I'm going into all the festivals. I'm going to start hosting. I'm going to start getting my pee-pee vacuumed. Um, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ever had your pee-pee vacuumed? It's like, <laughs> Well, they call it a suck job. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Bill Don't. Bennett. Okay. Bill Bennett, ladies and gentlemen. So, what'd you guys do with the Sharpie? 
So I'm gonna have you guys. Oh fuck! I forgot to get bandanas for you guys. I'll get it next time. But uh, you see that bandana up on the wall? I usually give them out. Okay. Next time, I'll next. I I forgot to buy some. What bandana? I didn't see. Is there one on the wall? Yeah, like uh, one of those. I usually, uh, I usually give it out, but cool. I I forgot to uh, do it this week. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's okay. I'll see you. Uh, I'm pissed. Next guys at the comedy club. Next. All right. Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you like, sorry, bro? Follow Thank me you. on Instagram. Yeah, hit, Brock hit him, Bristow. Bro. He's funny as hell, bro. But more, Please. I had one video go viral. I'm trying to keep it going. Hell yeah. More importantly, all the people that saw his video go viral and l- clicked on the podcast link from his story <laughs> follow me on instagram bill bennett haha yes um that we you want to plug your shit no it's okay y- y'all don't even know <laughs> so no nah, i don't want y'all motherfuckers following hey, me yeah, if, you, if you ain't going up to your friends taking your shirt off and going break check <laughs> out of this podcast i don't know what you're trying to do <laughs> you guys want to sign yeah yeah sure you want me to sign your forehead <laughs> no Hey, th- th- hey, thank you, Bill, for real. It means a lot to yeah, me. Thanks for having fun. us on, for real. I know we were trying to do this for a minute, but we got it. Hell yeah. You should, I mean, yeah, I'm glad this is happening. There's, there's been, there's, there's a few people in the Kansas City comedy scene. I was like, yeah, we'll totally do the podcast, and that's going to be a few months. Because <laughs> okay. okay. I, I just got shit lined up. Yeah, I feel like. yeah. You're good. Well, I just, meant, I just said thank you, because, like, I mean, this is, like, a whole thing like you're doing and it's a i don't production. know you've, you've had other people on here who i really respect so this is cool to also be like yeah in similar yeah, i can't wait till you have that. someone on here that i respect <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you have, oh did i i'm just kidding everybody that signed that did dust i think dustin and shane are on there are they yeah so i guess you don't respect you're, you're the, the owner of right? the kansas city comedy club I'll, i said I'll, it was a joke i'm gonna send that <laughs> relax I'm gonna send that to the it was a joke i was kidding I'm going to send that to the yeah. end of the... Well, uh, thank you, guys. This has been the Small Boys Podcast. We're the straightest, you, straightest podcast in straightest. all of Kansas City. And we love white people. And Man's queer. <sighs> yep. <laughs>